Hey guys, welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today we're going to talk about audio and video envelopes. Now, um, this is a very, very useful thing to know about and, and do when you're doing, let's say you're doing a video where, um, where there's music on and you're not saying anything and then all of a sudden you are and you want to turn the music down and still have it playing, then you can use uh, audio envelopes. Now the way that you do that, you can click on audio. So th this down here, this is some of my own music. And um, you know we're gonna mute that right about here where this guy starts talking. Let's let's just pretend that that was you know me talking or you know you talking for that matter. And you want to turn the music down so not, so it's not as loud. So what you do is you click on the uh, the audio track and then you push V on your keyboard. Now when you do that, you get this blue line down here. And then you can zoom in. So it's right about there that he starts talking. So we're gonna just zoom in a little bit and double click to make a point. There you go. And then we're gonna go a little further back. So we have a, a, a nice transition for, for the audio to go down. So we're gonna go like maybe, maybe around here. There. And then we're going to make another point about at the end of where he talks. Let's just say that around here-ish, that's where he stops talking, right? So we want to, and then just ignore the rest of it, right? So we're not going to make another point right there. Zoom a little in like that. And then go a little further ahead like so. Make another point there. So what we then can do is, Go to the first one, zoom in a little bit, and then we can tone down. See what it does here? It slowly turns down the volume of your audio. Let's just turn that all the way down to like, I don't know, minus 18.3. Let's do that, minus 18.3. And this one as well, minus, come on. 18.3 there you go so uh, let's have a listen to that and then you'll sh see that the audio turns down you know, it turns the volume down on the music and then you can hear what's being said so let's let's try to take a listen to this I'm driving this man once he, he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella, big So as you can see there, I just skipped ahead just because uh, I didn't want to play play this for too long. This is, by the way, the footage uh, that you're looking at right now is from The Walking Dead, the game. And um, a pretty good game, pretty good game. But, um, but yeah, so uh, that's how you do the audio, uh, the volume envelopes, right? So we can just uh, get that back to normal again, like so, and like that. Now there's another thing you could do. You can also do a panning envelope, and the way that you, that you do that is by, yet again, pressing or just marking it over here. You don't actually have to press this as, as long as this is the track that you're working on. And then you push P, then you get a red line instead. Now what this does is something completely different. Let's just make something here and Let's just make four points like that. And the last one about there. So what the panning one does, it pans, as you can see here, it says it goes to the left side of the speakers, then from that to the right side of the speakers, and then that's about it. So let's have a listen to that. I'm driving this man, so some of you guys might be, be you know, sitting there saying, well what, well, what can we use that for? What, what can we use the panning thing for? Well, imagine you're doing a montage and over the course from this point here till the, the, the last point here, there's an effect going on. Now, to increase the, the, the effect, sort of say, uh, you, could, you could do this to the music going on in your, in your montage video. So you could pan it to the sides as something is going on over the screen here, some effect you're pulling in and just emphasize the effect, sort of say, by, by doing this to the, to the actual music. So that's a very powerful tool that you can use to do stuff like that. Now there's, uh, 
One other envelope, uh, envelope that you can use, it's up here on the insert, right? Insert up here, click that, go to audio. Then there's one called mute. Now, the mute one is just pretty dumb because you can't really do much with it other than just mute something. And you, then if you want to mute something, you might as well just cut the track, to be honest. Cut the music. Um, there's something similar like that for videos, for the video track. They have the exact same thing, which is kind of stupid. Uh, there's no hotkeys for that, by the way. So you have to go up to insert here, insert, uh, video envel uh, envelopes, and then there's track mute. It's the exact same thing. It's really, really stupid. Um, let's just put it in there. So you see it got this line up here up top. So let's just make four points like that. So what you can do here, I can take those two here in the middle. So if I pull this one, uh, maybe not. Let me just go to it and then like that. See that? Just wants to mute it completely, and it, it you you might as well just cut the footage then. You might as well just do that. So uh, it, it's it's kind of stupid to be honest, but um, let's just get all these back again. Get rid of that. So go up to insert again, video envelopes, and then you have track uh, composite level. Now uh, with that one, it's exactly the same as with the volume one underneath. So what you do is you get that in there, and then you can click. Uh, actually, let's do that as this guy is talking like that. Actually, let's mute this one on here like that. And then click here. And then possibly click. Let's make it a little long because I have an idea for this that we can do. Click here and then make, I don't know, two more points, I guess, like there and there. So let's take this one and drag it down like so, 40%. And then this one a little further. Actually, I want that to go around midway there. Uh, don't want it to go completely away. Like that, that's fine, that's fine. So what you can do now, since this is actually, you know, it, this is basically the transparency that you're turning down on this actual track. So let's go to the first point here. Then I have some footage here that I just copied from the from, from the original track that's going to go in over here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move this track below and then see what happens as this bar goes down and, and stuff. So let's have a look at it. I'll actually mute all the audio so you can just, no, let's, let's just hear what he's saying. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. So, as you can see, this can be very, very powerful to use. Uh, let's try to make it a little shorter than what it actually was. Uh, so have this one. And have it actually go to zero. Pull this one a little more. And this one over here. Oh, so now it wants me to drag both of them. That's stupid that so let's have a look at it again i'm driving this it's gonna lag a little bit i'm driving this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella big soft eyes behind a pair of smart <laughs> <and he> <laughs> <laughs> that actually fit perfect with that with the with the speech he was, he was an older fella then you see him turning into a zombie but uh, very, very powerful stuff that you can use. You can use this as a transition as well. I've actually used that in the past on some of my videos. Um, very, very good stuff. Very good stuff. Let's just get all this back to normal again. Because we can do more with envelopes. Like that. So if you, yet again, highlight the track. Go up to insert, video envelopes, and then there's something called uh, track fade to color. Now that one's, you know, I cannot for the love of me figure out why anyone would actually use this one. Uh, basically what it does, it just goes into the background color. So when you're using this one, let me just do it real fast. Like that, that, and like that. Let's just make three of them, then pull this one down. So, actually that was a little long. Just do it like this. Then get it to uh, no color. What happens? Top color. 
uh, no color. So, I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? So as you can see right there, what the, the what it basically does is the same as before, but having said that, it doesn't add transparency. Okay? So if we could uh, pull this one up instead, oh, let's not do it like that. Let's just click on that one and then drag it up. Then it goes to white. So down, black, up, white. But it doesn't affect anything else. So it's kind of stupid. I would, I don't know. I I would I don't know what I would use this for to be honest. So let's just get all this away again and have a look at the last thing that you can do with envelopes. So click on the track here. Actually click on the actual track. You, you need to click the actual track for the next one. Uh, so go to insert, video envelopes, and then go to event velocity and click on that. Now you see, see this green line on the track here, right? Now what this actually does, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, I'll actually mute this track up here so we can see it at the end. And then go over here to where um, you start saying stuff. No, I actually go here, right? I'm driving this man one. Okay, so what you can do is you can speed up the footage or slow it down. So let me illustrate. Let me just make a point here and a point here. And then a point where he stops talking about here. And another one here. Now, what happens if I click on this one right here? I can actually drag these two down. Actually, no, I cannot because I forgot the most important thing. Let me just remove these again. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, when you're doing this stuff, if you push I on your keyboard, you get these uh, two um, uh, loop region markers. So if you make a loop region within this stuff right here, actually, why, why didn't it do that? Let me just redo that. I... Uh, come on. Hmm. Let me just get this all the way out of the way again. Like that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Then can't we just... I. Okay, why won't it make a loop region? Well, we'll just do it like this instead. Then just drag it in there. It's not, not a big deal. I don't know why I didn't want to make a loop region, but whatever. Like that, it needs to be highlighted with blue like this. So let's just make it like... Let's just make it like this. So... Now you have this green bar here and you can drag it up and down. See, it makes the points for you. So what you can do is you can turn the velocity down and you can see the percentage. It's actually gone into minus. So if you drag it down ever so slightly, it goes all the way down to zero. And if it goes below that, you're going to minus percentage. That means the footage is actually going backwards. Okay. So you can actually rewind it as well. And then you can speed it up to 300%. Let's have a look at it. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. So, you know, it works to, to some extent, but... Uh, it didn't speed up the audio, so that's why I normally don't use this velocity thing because I can just I could have just easily make a, made a cut here and a cut over here, and then sped it up if I wanted to, or slowed it down if I wanted to. I mean, I guess you have more control over the, over the percentage here. So let's see if we want to slow it down to like fifty percent. Uh, if it actually will let me, just fifty two percent then I guess. Go back again. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst See, the, one. The footage he is the footage is slowing down, but the audio isn't, which kind of sucks. So um, so yeah, that's I don't like the velocity thing here. If you're doing a montage, very useful, I guess. One thing I will try though uh, toward the end of the clip, normally it gets a little messed up uh, when you. Let's just see if it actually lines up again afterwards. 
hilarious if I do say so. What's out? This other time. Now see, now the audio is behind because of that. So I don't really like using the velocity one. The audio is like way behind. They caught the fucker red-handed. Very strong language to say. Thirsty. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how you do this, guys. That's how you do, uh, work with envelopes in Sony Vegas. It can be some of it can be very, very good to use, especially the audio part that I showed you in the beginning, where you want to like tone the volume down of of some music over when there's dialogue happening. So um, so yeah, very useful stuff. If you like this video, guys, please thumb it up and leave me a comment below what you think about this video. And uh, share this video with your friends because that helps me out so much, guys. And take care. Have fun. See you all in the next one.